What is a digital twin? Let's break it down for a preschooler. Imagine you have a favorite toy car. Now imagine it being inside a computer. You cannot touch it, but you can see it. The car in the computer is the digital twin. It's kind of like a video game, but more. It looks the same and moves the same as your real life car. If you paint your toy car red, your digital twin car will turn red too. If the toy breaks, its digital twin can show you the problem. Before doing something that might break your toy, try it on the computer. You can see if this is a good idea without breaking your car. The digital car can also teach you a lot about it. How fast can it go? What makes it turn? Adoption of this technology is growing rapidly across industries, propelled by advances in IoT, AI, and cloud computing. As it gets easier for organizations to create highly detailed and dynamic simulations of physical entities, digital twin capabilities are expanding way beyond their original applications for complex systems. Someday, there might even be a digital twin of you. Really? How did we get here? Let's take a step back. The 1991 book, Mirror Worlds or The Day Software, puts the universe in a shoebox. How it will happen and what it will mean by David Galerner forecasts the development of detailed digital model replicas of real-world entities. Although Galerner doesn't use the term digital twin directly, his ideas are fundamentally related to digital twin technology as we understand it today. Galerner, a Lel computer scientist who survived the mail bomb from Unabomber Ted Kaczynski in 1993. I'm not a victim. I never was, never will be anticipated the technology more than a decade before the concept and model of the digital twin was publicly proposed in 2002. In the book, he writes of mirror worlds, they are software models of some chunk of reality, some piece of the real world going on outside your window. He illustrates oceans of information flowing endlessly into the model via a maze of software pipes and hoses. That amount of information is so vast the model can mimic the reality's move moment by moment. The detailed models, or mirror worlds, are rich, updatable, and interactive simulations that reflect the real-world counterpart in digital form. Data democratization and visualization, he predicts, would make complex information not just accessible but understandable to the general public. The information is collected via sensors and input devices and distributed via computer networks. Digital twin technology, as it has evolved, aligns closely with Galanter's vision. Digital twins are virtual replicas designed to accurately reflect a physical object, process, or system. The living digital simulation models update and change in real time with their physical counterparts. In Galerner's imagining, the digital replicas are used for real-time monitoring, decision support, and simulation, predicting current applications of digital twin technology in industries spanning aerospace, automotive, manufacturing, healthcare, and urban development. Digital twin technology took off in the early 2010s in the aerospace and automotive sectors, notably NASA and GE, who deployed twins for complex system simulations and maintenance. Though digital twin adoption has grown steadily, the ubiquity of the models in daily life at the individual level, as forecast in mere worlds, hasn't yet materialized. When the concept of digital twinning emerged in the early 2000s, NASA was one of the first to explore the possibilities. However, some argued that the first digital twin was decades earlier. Where they start? I don't know what it was. Okay. Oh, usually we've had a problem. In April 1970, the Apollo 13 mission almost ended in tragedy. Two days into NASA's third lunar mission, an oxygen tank on Apollo 13 exploded, jeopardizing the lives of the astronauts on board. What did you do? Nothing. I the tank. Though the crew never made it to the moon, their lives were spared thanks to NASA's control team who used what many consider the first application of digital twin technology. In a 2021 presentation entitled Digital Twins and Living Models at NASA, Senior technologist B. Nit Allen posits that the multiple simulators employed to evaluate the spacecraft's failure extended the physical model to include digital components. In response to Apollo 13's oxygen tank explosion and subsequent damage to the main engine, NASA employed multiple simulators to evaluate the failure and extended a physical model of the vehicle to include digital components. However, Michael Greaves, who's credited with coining the term digital twin in the early 2000s, says NASA's methods in 1970 differ significantly from the digital twin technology as it's known today. While the first technical use of the digital twin is debated, the mission's legacy in advancing real-time simulation and problem-solving is undisputed. As Greaves says, the success of Apollo 13 had to do with the intelligence, coolness, and bravery of the astronauts, and little, if anything, to do with digital. Digital twin technology has been instrumental to enhancing the efficiency of NASA's Mars rover projects. 
This story focuses on Perseverance Rover. NASA used digital twins extensively throughout early development of Perseverance, nicknamed Percy. Detailed virtual models of Percy Rover aided in anticipating and planning for the tremendous challenges the rover would face on Mars, according to virtualcommissioning.com. NASA used digital twinning to simulate complex sky crane technology to ensure the rover landed on the red planet in one piece. NASA used Maple Sim by Maple Soft for hardware in the loop simulations of specific hardware components with other parts simulated as digital twins. A research team from McGill University and Vortex simulated how the rover's wheels would interact with soft patches on the red planet's surface, according to virtual commissioning. Let's dive into hardware in the loop and digital twin a bit more. Hardware in the loop and digital twin are advanced technologies used for testing and simulation of complex systems. Integrating HIL and digital twin technology unlocks enhanced simulation and testing capabilities. The hardware becomes part of the digital twin, looping real-time data and feedback to the virtual replica. Real-time data from HIL integrated into a digital twin framework helps pinpoint potential issues before they disrupt the actual system. Combining HIL and digital twins allows for an iterative development approach where physical testing and virtual modeling feed info to each. Digital twin interoperability is the ability of multiple virtual representations of physical systems to effectively interact with each other. In 2021, the Digital Twin Consortium announced the Digital Twin Interoperability Framework, outlining seven key concepts. A model-based approach, with millions and billions of interconnections implemented daily, designers can codify, standardize, identify, and reuse models in various use cases in the field, according to the consortium. Holistic Information Flow a seamless and comprehensive data flow facilitates better understanding of real-world conditions for more informed decision-making across the product life cycle. State-based interactions encompass the entity's static and dynamic attributes at any point in time. Federated depositories Accessing and correlating distributed, heterogeneous info across multiple dimensions of a digital twin through the product life cycle is required for optimal decision support. Actionable information Data that's exchanged between systems must provide actionable insights. Ensure that the methods of interoperability can grow from simple connections between two systems to complex interactions among many different and distributed systems worldwide. Anto Budi Arjo, CEO of Potty, IO, says, the digital twin system interoperability framework enables USB type compatibility and ease for all systems connected to the internet and private networks, which until now has been the domain of system integrators. Hype surrounding edge computing and digital twins has grown steadily at roughly the same rate in recent years. The two are increasingly interconnected in modern digital ecosystems, complementing each other in significant ways. Edge computing minimizes the need for long-distance communications between client and server by bringing computation and data storage closer to the sources of truth. Real-time data is essential for accurate simulation and analysis in digital twinning. Edge computing enables faster processing of data by reducing latency. The immediacy of processing and analyzing data directly from IoT devices helps maintain up-to-date and accurate digital twins. Processing data locally reduces the amount of information that must be transmitted to the cloud. This is relevant for digital twin applications that generate massive amounts of data because it reduces network bandwidth strain. Local data processing reduces the risk of interception or hacking because sensitive data isn't transmitted over the network. Edge Industry Review says, as more companies seek to leverage the power of digital twins for their operations, Edge computing will be increasingly important for ensuring data integrity, real-time decision-making capabilities, and overall efficiency. Digital twins are getting smarter. Integrations with advanced technologies like AI and machine learning transform the virtual replicas of physical entities into dynamic predictive models that learn and adapt over time. They're called intelligent digital twins. Michael Greaves, executive director of the Digital Twin Institute, recently broke down the key attributes of intelligent digital twins in a preprint paper proposing a framework for better managing complex systems and emergent behaviors. They're active. They engage with their physical counterparts and data ecosystems. They ingest data on their physical twins, continuously updating themselves to reflect real-time conditions and changes. They're terminally online. Intelligent digital twins operate in always connected environments, leveraging cloud computing, IoT devices, and other digital infrastructures to access, process, and predict outcomes in real time. Intelligent digital twins are engineered with specific outcomes in mind. They use AI to identify and execute actions that align with desired outcomes, such as optimizing performance and reducing downtime. They're anticipatory. 
They conduct ongoing simulations to forecast future conditions, identify possible disruptions, and proactively address issues to ensure target KPIs are met. Interest in digital twinning has grown alongside the rise of AI and machine learning. The evolution toward intelligent digital twins is a significant shift toward autonomous, predictive, and prescriptive digital tools. The sixth generation of wireless technology is expected to emerge in the late 2020s. Building on the 5G networks that are gaining prominence today, 6G networks promise to be significantly faster and smarter than today's technology. With the emphasis on seamlessly connecting systems and IoT devices, AI-powered 6G's impact on digital twins and other Industry 4.0 technologies could be significant. While 5G's peak data rates up to 20 gigabits per second, 6G is expected to deliver rates of 1 terabit per second. This means 6G will be capable of downloading and streaming data and communicating at speeds up to 50 times faster than its predecessor. 4G and 5G networks that digital twins rely on today can restrict the volume of data processed in real time, delaying response times for complex analyses. With ultra-high bandwidth and near-zero latency, 6G will enable digital twins to process vast amounts of data from sensors and IoT devices in real time. That data will be instantly analyzed with AI algorithms, enabling immediate adjustments and optimizations for complex systems. The enhanced data processing will significantly level up the predictive accuracy of digital twins. They'll be able to foresee maintenance needs, production issues, and supply chain disruptions with much greater precision and lead time than today. Right now, digital twins can simulate scenarios and suggest optimizations. They often require human intervention for decision-making and execution. With parallel advancements in AI and wireless technology, Tomorrow's digital twins won't be hand ringers. Instead of just identifying needs for adjustments, they'll implement changes in production processes and maintenance schedules on their own. With predefined parameters, the need for human intervention will be minimized. Comprehensive integrations will expand future digital twinning use cases far beyond the maintenance and optimization applications they're primarily used for today. 6G's emphasis on connecting everything will enable a more coordinated and efficient approach to optimizing all stages of a product life cycle, from design and production to supply chain management to end-of-life disposal. While collaboration and remote operations with today's digital twins are possible, applications can be limited by data transmission speeds and latency. The ability for experts to interact with and manage manufacturing processes from anywhere in the world without a perceivable delay could be immensely transformative for global manufacturers. Today, digital twins help drive sustainability KPIs by optimizing processes and reducing waste, but their potential is far from fully realized. AI-powered 6G digital twins will unlock considerable energy savings and waste reduction with the ability to process and analyze more comprehensive data sets in real time. A 2022 joint research report from NVIDIA and Heavy I proposed a framework for uniting digital twins with 6G networks. The authors conclude, the fast growth of network scale towards 6G and the stringent performance requirements of diverse use cases call for innovation tool and platforms. Though speculating about 6G-fueled applications may seem premature, telecommunications providers, global organizations, and governments are already heavily investing in research. Writing in Tech Radar, Dr. Christoph Dietzel, Global Head of Products and Research at DCIX, Noted, concepts such as autonomous vehicles, smart cities, or Industry 4.0 used to be far-off thought experiments. Thanks to 5G's ongoing evolution, paired with advances in AI, machine learning, cloud computing, and related technologies, the concepts are rapidly becoming mainstream. The United Nations Telecoms Agency, the International Telecommunication Union, plans to finish the initial 6G standardization process no later than 2030, according to MIT Technology Review. NDT's Digital Twin Computing Initiative aims to use sensors to collect signals, images, speech, and other data to understand and model how people perceive and feel things. All that biological, physiological, and behavioral information would then be used to model an individual's mental and emotional state. Beyond data collection, the challenge is translating complex, subjective experiences into universally understandable signals to bypass conventional communication barriers. Over time, the digital twin could reliably predict emotional states and real-world outcomes. If such a technology caught on, it would revolutionize personal relationships, international diplomacy, and multicultural collaboration. The optimistic view is such a breakthrough could create a future where language barriers no longer exist. At scale, this would foster a world where people can directly understand each other's thoughts and feelings without misinterpretation. Human digital twin technology also raises significant ethical and privacy concerns due to the nature of the vast amount of data needed. NTT, the world's fourth largest telecommunications provider, announced its ambitious R&D initiative in 2020. By 2030, 
the Japanese company aims to develop technologies that will enable receivers to directly understand how senders perceive and feel things in their mind and thus transcend differences in experience and simulations. In a 2023 update, NTT researchers said they found that when people disagree or feel uncomfortable about something, their brains send a special signal. They discovered this by observing subjects wearing EEG caps that read brain activity while reading advice or instructions designed to make them uneasy. The researchers are also experimenting with a method for visualizing mental images using EEG. This would allow people to see others' mental thoughts or dreams directly. The aggregated data would be a dynamic, virtual model that reflects the individual's current state. The model is continuously updated with new data for a real-time representation of the person's mental and emotional condition. The other components of the Digital Twin Computing Initiative are pretty far out too, including bio-digital twins to make healthcare hyper-personalized and better predict how people will react to different treatments, another me, or the ability to create a virtual version of yourself that can do things for you in the digital world, or even the physical world with advanced robotics, and a 4D digital platform to predict and solve complex societal issues with precise data fusion. The platform would use four-dimensional data to predict traffic jams or optimize energy resources in a city.